In today's video, a legend has returned to the channel. Kaz has sent us another mystery box. What's up guys, we're back with another epic mystery box opening. You can check out Kaz's previous videos where he sent us some pretty amazing stuff right here on the, on the screen. We have a box today and I literally have no idea what he has sent us. He told me, hey, I'm gonna send you another box to open up for me and I said, let's go for it. Okay, I am, this is a pretty large box. He said this may be a longer video if you do this in one video. So unless it's completely insane like, uh, like Lars's recent box, then we'll try and do it in one video. All right, so the first item is open if challenge failed, open if challenge completed, and open first. Okay, so open first is obviously gotta go first. Let's see what Kaz has sent us this time. Hey Roxanne, it's been a while. Hope you and Chelsea and everyone are well. Thanks for the epic content, and I'm hoping this will be too. Inside this box is around 100 packs aching to be opened. I did get these loose from several vendors, so honestly, I don't know how this will go. I can only hope for epic pulls or at least a fun opening. To change things up a bit, there's a bonus package at the end of this which contains one of my most prized possessions. What happens to this package depends on whether you complete the challenge. The challenge, should you choose to accept, is to pull one Ghost Rare and three Ultimate Rares. Good luck and happy pulling, Kaz. At Kaz's Diary, flip for Ruxin's Eyes Only. By the way, he has a YouTube channel, it's called Kaz's Diary, so go check it out. I'll have the link below if you guys wanna follow him. I've actually watched some of his videos. They're very relaxing. He doesn't talk, he actually puts it up on the screen and he kinda of does some hand motions and it's kind of relaxing. All right, before we get into the opening, he did send us a giveaway, uh, which we will see. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. Blaze of Destruction. Structure, it's just first dead. It's in a bag, I don't really wanna take it out, but I also wanna see if it's first dead. Okay, we'll take it out. All right, this thing is first edition and you might have noticed over in this corner, oh, he did not do this. He did not send one of the best giveaways we're ever gonna do on this channel. Okay, if this thing's first dead, okay, it's unlimited. I was about to say, if that's first dead, that's insane. But we're giving away starter deck Pegasus. I mean, well, most nostalgic starter deck for me. I remember being like, relinquish. I gotta get this thing, this thing's insane. And then structure deck Blaze of Destruction. What a giveaway, Kaz. Shout out to Kaz in the comments. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and shout out Kaz. Let me know your favorite pack we open as well if you want to. But Kaz, great giveaway, dude. And speaking of, he sent me something. Ruxins, it is, oh, wait, is that, fa is that thing faded in there? Wow, this is a, uh, that looks faded to me. This is a really cool product you might have never seen. It has a Power of the Duelist pack inside, a five-headed dragon promo, and then it has the, uh, whatever the structure deck's called, the uh, Dinosaur's Rage structure deck. So pretty, pretty weird product. It's like a structure deck that includes a pack, includes a promo card, you know, and uh, some extra stuff. So that honestly looks, I kind of want to open this thing up and see what it is. Not in this video though, it might already, is it already open? No, I don't think it's already open. That That's coming open right there, but maybe we'll open this in a video at some point. Okay, there's also more giveaway that I noticed later in the video. Now we're back to the giveaway portion. This is a shirt. Oh, is this some sort of official merch? Oh my goodness, look at this thing. What size is this, like a youth large? Look at that shirt. And yeah, I think this is a youth extra large. So this is part of the giveaway as well. That's pretty cool. Okay, he also sent us this, something that says Ruxin. So let's see, what is this for Ruxin? All right, what is in Ruxin's pack? Feels like a booster pack. What will it be? Maybe it's a booster pack, maybe it's a card. I actually don't know. All right, is this for me to read or for everybody? Hello again. A while ago, I came across a card shop located in a real part of Japan. Now, I'm not an expert with Korean OCG, but I believe the first deck Korean packs during the era were short printed and therefore exclusive, which leads me to believe that few have this specific card and rarity in first set. It's not in perfect condition, but to find this card in the wild was well wild. Anyway, long story short, it's yours. Oh my God, what is this? Korean Gezi is gonna love this. Oh man, it's covered up. Oh my gosh, what is it? Oh, no way! Madman, this is amazing, dude! A Korean Ghost Rare First Ed Black Rose. I mean, it has Edgeware, but who cares? Wow, Kaz, this is, this is too nice, man. This is incredibly rare. This is super cool. This is definitely going in my binder. That, I've never owned this. That's really, really cool. The Korean first set people will be pumped about this. Uh, that And look how beautiful it is. It looks as good as like a North American ghost. Wow, this is original. So if you don't know Korean, like they reprinted everything recently, but these is like first ads. This is back like, you know, in 2010 and 2008 and stuff like that. So this is actually an old card. Dude, what did you get this for? I'm interested to see how much you bought it for. That's a very nice find in the wild. That's insane, dude. You are... You are a legend. 
Oh, there's more to the giveaway. Uh, <laughs> there is, if you can't see, it's a majestic star dragon and you say binder. This is gonna be quite the giveaway. Oh, and guess what else? More giveaway. A Strike of Neos Blister, first edition. Oh my gosh. You just like the video, be subscribed and let Kaz know he's insane. Okay, there are several different items in here. This one says open, so we're gonna start with this. Oh my gosh. You guys know what that is? No, he did not send us. He sent us some crazy stuff. Crossroads of Chaos. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be insane. If we pull a Ghost Rare today, it is gonna be a good day, everyone. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be a long video. Then we have some Absolute Power Force. There's a lot more things too. This is only the beginning, so let's just get to it. I think that we're gonna plan to do this all in one video. So sit back, relax, enjoy the long video, guys, because this will be a longer one. It involves some old school 5Ds packs though, so let's just get to it. I'm gonna do one thing at a time. So we're gonna do all these Crossroads of Chaos first and see what we can get. Let's see if we can get that Black Rose Dragon early on. That would be pretty crazy. I mean, we got a lot of packs to open today, so let's get to it. Uh, Kaz has sent us some pretty amazing stuff before, and every time we've pulled some crazy stuff, so I'm hoping we can continue to do that for him. We need to get one Ghost Rare, three Ultimate Rares to complete the challenge, and that will be to open up that final package. So let's see if we can do it today. We have Nettles, Lineage, Copy Plant. If we get a Ghost here, we are going to freak out. Any Ghost or a Plague Spreader ulti would be pretty nice here as well. Wow, we're opening up Crossroads of Chaos today. I was I was hopeful because Kaz sends us some pretty fun stuff. So I was like, I don't know what he's gonna send, but this is, I mean, Crossroads of Chaos, you can never be disappointed. You can only be disappointed if you ultra Ruxed special the hollow to the front. So that's our first hollow. Uh, big mistake. Okay, so I did four. It's three, dum dum. What are you doing? Red Ogre. Okay, Red Ogre is a pretty cool card. That's a uh, Junior Journey reference right there. There you go, MBT. That reminds me of when I destroyed Danny in a epic Junior Journey performance. Okay, next up. We got a lot of packs, so I'm, I'm going to not mess up ever again on the pack trick. Here we go. We have Doppelganger. Beautiful. Morphtronic Magnon. Poison Chain. We're trying Datatron. We got Gozen Match. Very good common. Botanical Girl. We have Teleport. Uh, Mosaic Manicore. And we're going to be looking for those Synchro cards in the last slot. Because if we see that, we get to freak out. Absolute Power Force is up next. Let's try one of these. Oh, the Majestic Red Dragon. I've never pulled either. So I've never pulled either of these ghosts before. So if we can do that in today's video, it will be a massive success. And Kaz will be extremely happy. So I had someone message me the other day about... Uh, they watched Lars Mystery Box opening. I didn't actually answer their email, but I will be answering it right now. So if they watch the video, they'll get their answer. They were confused about Lars opening. So how these Lars and Kaz openings works, have, have worked is they have some packs that they own and they want to send them to me to open up for them on the channel. And then I send them the cards back. So whenever we get a pull, it's for them. It's not for me. It's just we, you guys get to watch it and I get to have fun opening it up. So uh, that is how that works. Like there was there was no payment involved or anything like it's just I'm opening them up for fans of the channel and they like to see me open them up. So that's kind of what's going on here. And hopefully we can get them some really cool pulls so they'll be happy. So that's a little explanation there for what's going on, because some people apparently were confused by that. So one, two, three. Here we go. Just big fans of the channel wanted to support, send it in. They also enjoy watching stuff be opened by me, which is pretty cool. And I always love it because that means you guys get some content opening up Battle Fader Ultra Rare. That does not count toward our goal, but that definitely counts toward a nice card. With Edison being so popular, the ulti's gone crazy. It's like 100 bucks for the unlimited ulti. I bet the ultra is pretty decent as well. So that's a pretty good Battle Fader pull right there. Our best pull so far. It looks like it's raining outside, so hopefully that doesn't mess anything up and it just uh, helps us rain some pulls here. Uh, uh, okay, that was stupid. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> we'll be raining pulls, raining ghosts right here. We need ghosts, we need ultis. I almost, almost messed it up again. Iron Chain, we have Factory, Jade Knight, Synchro Strike, Curse Fig, Teleport, more Transition. We have Stormcaller and actually, so on this one, it needs to be a different pack trick because that one was third to last when I pulled it. But here I think it's three from the back only. So it's different on these two because they are they are like a year or two apart. This is 2008 for Crossroads of Chaos. Absolute Power Force is either 09 or 2010. I think it's 09. Wall of Ivy, that sounds like a magic card. Here we go, one, two, three. Come on, Black Rose Dragon, Power Injector, Horsey Tail, Fragrant Storm. Man, that the rain's going crazy out here. Pursuit Chaser, Synchro Strike, Curse Fig, Revival Gift. We have the Mad Archfiend and Morphtronic Monotron. Okay, let's try one more absolute power. I can't believe this is what we're starting with. 
I feel like we might have picked the best one already, but there was one wrapped up too, so I feel like that's gonna be the best one. So I don't really know. I'm just trying to guess. Let's see, three. If it was third, then this would be it. So I go like that. I think I gotta figure this out. Gravekeeper Stell. Stelle, variety comes out. We have Power Supplier, Reptilian Gardener, Struck Potion, Forgotten Temple, Reptilian Vasiki, and a Kodras. That is just a common. So far, two hollows. These are loose, he said. So there is some variety to them. I mean, pulling anything though already is a good sign for at least the Crossroads of Chaos. We'll see if that holds up. We pull something really big. White Stone of Legend. That's pretty crazy how old that card is. Blue Eyes White Dragon. I'm Rux especially everything. Goes and matches great. Cord, Botanica Girl, Mad Archfiend, Confusion Chaff, another rare. Kaz, Kaz, Kaz. I feel like we have pulled Kaz in the past. We pulled him a Lumina from TP, a CP8, sorry. We pulled him a, it was a big ultimate rare. What was it? It was like a, was, it wasn't a Caius. It was a, oh, what was it? We pulled it, we pulled him a Ghost Rare before, I think too. Psychic Jumper. I think it was a Ghost Rare Blue Eyes in the last one. You need to check up and maybe one more. Uh, Tiger Dragon and Horsey Tail. The very first time, I remember it being a really rough start. We, we were like one for 30 or something, and then we went crazy at the end. Pulled some really amazing stuff. Oh, we pulled him Satellite Cannon from CP01. I remember that. That was actually a pretty amazing pull. Uh, no, no, not CP01. Dark Revelation 4. Yeah, uh, different version, but also really expensive. Oh, and a nice super rare Botanical Lion with a little bit of a ding at the top there. That's unfortunate. Right out of the pack. Fortunately, it's not like a kosher or anything. It's just a super, but okay. Uh, not the best to see that, but at least it's a hollow. That means that, I mean, that's that kind of fits with loose packs that they've been kind of bouncing around for a while outside of their booster box. Well, they maybe not even coming to booster box, but wherever they came from, then it's likely they've dinged up some corners, you know, Saint of Deception, Blaster, Iron Chain, Bla or Iron Chain Repairman. And gadget driver this could be i think our first video with him was nearly an hour this could be rivaling that like we might be hitting like an hour long on this video i don't know if it's going to be that long but this might this is definitely a weekend type of video i rock some special that one every time uh so that you guys can sit back and enjoy the entire thing because yeah hour long videos i mean they're fun but they are a little long i know a lot of you guys can't watch all of them let's pull something crazy one two three a little switchy switch we have reptilian gardener Fibers Rebirth. We have it's that one every time. It's the fourth card. It's so hard. Layer wire. That's why it's really hard when the hollow's there. Oh, a Fiendish Chain. First hollow out of absolute power force. This is actually a really nice card, too. Fiendish Chain is super playable. Uh, not necessarily anymore, but for a long time it was a really good card. So first foil is actually a great super rare. Man, this is it. This is gonna be a lot of packs. This is gonna be a lot of packs. One, two, three. That's what we're gonna do. We have confusion chaff. White Stone of Legend, Giant Trapple, Curse Fig, Iron Chain Blaster, Revival Gift, Datatron, Iron Chain Dragon, finally a Synchro, and Iron Chain Snake. So unfortunately not the Synchro we're looking for. Just a rare Synchro. That always throws me off. Like, whoa, that's something crazy. And it's like, oh, it's just a rare. Okay. Doppelganger, come on. We could at least get a Black Rose Ultra if we don't get the Black Rose Ulti or Ghost, right? That would be pretty cool. Morphtronic Boomboxing. Ooh, and a Rose Warrior of Revenge always seems to show up in these openings. I've pulled this in ulti a couple times as well. There's an ultra. We haven't pulled any toward our goal yet, though. We haven't pulled an ulti or a ghost. I'm guessing that will mean everything's going to have potential for those, though, which means this is going to be a really good opening. Come on. We have Fragrant Storm, Comrade Swordsman of Landstar, Doppelganger, Copy Plant, Lineage, Ever Living Underworld Cannon, Pursuit Chaser, Iron Chain Dragon, and a Confusion chaff i'm confused where are the ultis and the ghosts where are they indeed because we need one one two three i've had great luck recently not necessarily opening cards but i've been playing a lot of pokemon go and i've i caught like three shinies in the last like 12 14 hours or something it's insane i'm not even playing that much oh it's speaking of good luck pokemon go thank you elemental hero divine neo secret rare these are unweighed. I think these are unweighed. That's a good card. Okay, Divine Neos. He said there's a little bit of lenience with if it counts. This could maybe be counted as an ultimate rare. Like if it worse comes to worse, we pull two ultis in this. I mean, this is a really nice secret rare. I know first adds like 150. So unlimited, you guys will have seen the price, but that's a really nice pull. Definitely our best so far. Okay, I feel really good about that. Thank you, Shinies from Pokemon Go for bringing us some luck. Speaking of, if you guys want to add me on Pokemon Go, I still have room on a friends list. You can go add me. Go Get in the Discord down below. Uh, we have a Pokemon Go channel. Post your things, I'll add you guys. 
uh, and send me some gifts. It'll be great. We have Nettles, we have uh, Turbo Synchron, and a oh, Black Rose Dragon! I saw the Synchro, I couldn't stop. I was gonna like hesitate for a second. I was like, no, I gotta see what it is. Ultra Rare Black Rose, back to back pulls. These are loose packs. He bought them from a good seller, that's for sure. I was gonna go back to Absolute Power Force, but we gotta try our luck for three for three. Let's see what we can do. What an opening so far. Oh my goodness. This could already be a banger video by itself without even all... I mean, we have a lot left. He said about 100 packs, so... Uh, total. So we're opening like 30 right here, something like that. Revival Gift. Healing Wave. We have Morphtronic and three in a row. It's a Goka Pyre of Malice Super. Okay, not as good. We went Secret Ultra Super. Now we're going to loop back around to the Ghost Rare, right? Watch, watch this. Lowest rarity to highest rarity. I got to keep going until we miss one. Then we can go back to Absolute Power Force, which only has one pull so far. So Crossroads is carrying right now. There was more packs of Crossroads as well. Keep that in mind. Morphtronic Magnet. Come on, Kaz. You're doing pretty well so far. I mean, I, I love pulling Kaz great stuff because he sends us some really good content for the channel. Virus Cannon and... Okay, all right. We broke the streak, but that was a really nice streak. Divine Neos. I mean, that is a really beautiful card. Absolute power force. Let's see what we can do. Three. Let's do a little flippity flip. Catch you on the flippity flip. Here we go, Michael Scott. We have power supplier. Changing destiny. That's a Ruxa special. Unicycler. Cool. Temple of the Sun. Magical Golem. Alien brain. We have a Vasky and a Tri-Killer and a Unicycler in the same pack. Okay, back to Crossroads. You've been pretty good so far. I'm still, I mean, I'm holding out the hope. I've never pulled the Black Rose Ultimate. Well, I, I pulled the ulti. May I have I pulled the ulti? I pulled the Ghost. I pulled the Stardust ulti. I haven't pulled the Ghost. I pulled the Ultra. I don't know if I've pulled the ulti. I've definitely not pulled the Ghost. So I pulled the ulti Stardust. I haven't pulled the Ghost Stardust either. So I'm, I need those two big ones for 5Ds. Miracle Fertilizer and another Ultra Seed of Flame. We still have not technically hit one of our goal. We haven't hit an ulti or a ghost. We've hit the cover card Ultra. We've hit a nice secret rare. This is like, it's just shooting all around the goal right now. We're like all around the basket. Can't get one to fall. Got a lid on the basket right now. One, two, three. We have Comrade Swordsman of Landstar. Fragrant Storm. First time pulling that, I think. Uh, the Swordsman of Landstar. Revival Gift. Iron Chain Coil. DNA Checkup. Turbo Synchron. And a Knight and Sorcerer. We are pulling hollows left and right. Just they're not the hollows that we're looking for. The ultis of the ghosts. Ultis are pretty tough out of Crossroads of Chaos, though. So it might be better searching for those in a different set. We'll just knock out the Ghost Share right now. How about that? Gadget Driver. Confusion Draft. Let's go. Storm. Iron Chain. Teleport, Synchro Strike, Nettles, Polynosis, and Puppet Master. Dude, they're everywhere. This is crazy. Another foil. Gonna have the full foil set at the end of this thing. All right, let's just, I mean, I gotta keep going. I mean, strike while the iron's hot, you know? The iron is indeed hot on Crossroads of Chaos right now. They are absolutely on fire. Can we get a high rarity card that we only have one secret uh, in terms of high rarity, which is great. I mean, secrets are good, but we want to pull an ulti or a ghost for the goal. Trap of the Imperial Tomb. Ultronic Monotron. That breaks the streak. It was a bunch of supers and an ultra, I think, which is not bad. No Plague Spreader yet, though. No Plague Spreader Ultra. That'd be pretty good. Ultis are very expensive. I mean, the first ads are insane, but Unlimited's are still pretty expensive as well. We have Reptilian Naga. Pandaborg. Gravekeeper Stele. Power Supplier. Reptilian Gardener. Destruct Potion. Meteor Flare. Drill Synchron and an Ultra Rare, which of the Black Rose. How many foils are we going to pull that are not counted toward our goal? This is crazy. Okay, these are hot right now. Absolute power for us. Let's keep you going. See what you can do. Can you go back to back? So far, I guess we're up to three foils now at Absolute Power Force, which is not too bad. I mean, it's not like horrible. If we can get something big like a ghost here, it would be pretty insane. Lair Wire. Unicycler was in that spot last time. Interesting. Ritual, Forgotten Temple of the Deep, Changing Destiny, Shield Worm, and the Great Keeper Stelle. All right, all right, back to Crossroads. It's crazy. This feels like a full video, and we still we haven't even touched like 90% of the mystery box, it feels like. Okay. Poison Jane. This is gonna be a long video. Cell phone snake. This is gonna be like next level stuff. Card rotator. Morphtronic, Radian, and a plant food chain. All right, not bad. Let's try another crossroads. I think we have four absolute power force, and this is our eighth to last crossroads, so 12 packs left here. Uh, this feels like even more than the 30 packs I thought it might be. Psychic Jumper, Doppelganger, Morphtronic, Magnin, Rotator, Datatron, Goes and Match, 
Cord, Pride for Roar. Oh, an ulti! There we go! Mark of the Rose! Let's go! And it's related to Black Rose, too. You gotta love that ultimate rare, Mark of the Rose. Let's go! We've got one! We've officially got an ulti. That will do it. So these are definitely legitimate packs. We're hot now. We gotta keep it up. Ultimate rare, secret rare, ultra rare Black Rose, and a few other ultras. These are loaded. These are absolutely loaded. One, two, three. Only rarity we have not pulled is Ghost. We pulled Secret, we pulled Ulti, Ultra, Super. Obviously, rare and common. Pursuit Chaser, if we get the Ghost here, this would be some of the best Crossroads pack. The best I've ever opened, actually, if we do. There's another Super. We're getting doubles. We've gotten so many. We're getting doubles of the Goka. Let's try three in a row. Can it happen? Let's see. Three straight. We've had three straight a couple of times. Going for the Trey. Yet again, one, two, three, Trey Young in it up. We have the uh, Gigantic Cephalotus, Morphtronic, Trap Hole, Scrap, Cameran, Gift, Generator, Mosaic Manicore, and another Puppet Master. What in the world? Loose packs, dude. Loose packs. He's a madman. They're everywhere. He's getting oh, another Gozen, one, two, three. These are like some of the best crossroads I've ever opened. If we can get a ghost, it will be insane. In terms of like number of foils, this is absolutely ridiculous. I can't pull cards. Stormcaller and Gadget Driver. It's finally over. That we opened four, four straight to miss one. Absolutely powerful. So we now have eight left here. Eight left for Kaz. Hopefully that popcorn's tasty and hopefully it's, you know, you got more because there's a lot more to come. One, two, three. Do a little swappity swap because we're going to get something big right here. We have Psy Curse, Rose Fairy, Lair Wire, Magical Golem. Meteor Flare, Rocks and Special, Weaving Idol, Inverse Universe, we have Skull Conductor, and a Synchro Control, another Hollow. The amount of Hollows we have pulled right now is absolutely ridiculous. The foils are everywhere. Come on, let's do this. See what we can do. One, two, three. We have one, two, three, Flippity Flop. We have the Spider's Lair, Power Supplier, Oil Man, Gandhari, Sup, yay. We have Panda Board, Psy Curse, Core Blaster, that's a little workout machine. And a super Ogre of the Scarlet Sorrow. King Scarlet's own card right there. When he's sad. Okay, there we go. Back to back. Absolute power force. You're starting to pick it up a little bit. Can you pick it up with something high rarity? Because so far, I mean, Crossroads of Chaos has had three high or two high rarity cards. You've had zero. You got to turn it around. Machine assembly line. Now's the time. Power Invader. Coderus. Nature's Reflection. Variety comes out. Advanced Force. Fire Ant. Evil Blast. Swordmaster. Okay, not that time. Crossroads. You've been good. You've been very good. There's one more rarity I ask for. One more. And you can complete your journey today. Magnan, Rux and Special, Synchro Strike, Curse Fig. You think he's going to have some Duelist Genesis in here? That's what I'm wondering right now. Fragrant Storm. Because if he's had Crossroads, he's had Absolute Power Force. What's to say he won't have some Duelist Genesis? That would be pretty amazing. We have Morphtronic Engine, Giant Trap Hole, Zombie Mammoth, Rux and Special, Datatron. Goes in match. Morphtronic Cord, Botanical Girl. Trap of the Imperial Tomb, my ultimate rare, Plague Spreader Zombie, no way, oh, the second best card in the set behind the Black Rose, woo, and the ultimate rare honestly could be more, it's going to be more than the ultra Black Rose, it's less than the ulti Black Rose probably, but wow, look at that card, Edison format, it's definitely helping the value of this as well. That is a huge one. I pulled one of these myself and I had a dinged corner. Let's see if his corners look good. Uh, definitely a box on the back, but oh my gosh, that looks so good. Let's get a little, uh, sorry, I, this is for, uh, this is especially for Keegan right now because one time I showed some cards in the sleeves and he was so mad. He was like, Dude, why would you do that, man? Like that just ruins the whole point. You have to show it without the sleeve. This is for you, Keegan. E3 Yu-Gi-Oh right here. Enjoy it, man. It definitely looks better. You definitely got to show it without the sleeve. That is a good point. All right, it's been a pretty good video. We can just end it now. We don't need to open the other 80 packs. <laughs> Probably more than that, actually. Okay, we only need the Ghost Rare Black Rose, and we've basically completed Crossroads at this point. We've done everything there is to do. I mean, the ulti Black Rose, I guess, but when you have the Ghost and the Ultra, do you really need it? Nettles, I mean, some would argue it looks better than the Ghost. I disagree. Uh, Paralyzing Chain. Iron Chain Snake, okay. We're gonna save one, one for the end. Let's do the Absolute Power Force first. What an opening, man. Wow, Kaz. I somehow just pull good cards for Kaz. I don't know. I don't know if he's just a genius at picking out packs. That might be one of one of the reasons, but uh, I, whenever I open for Kaz, it just goes crazy. Serpent, Break Draw, Consecrated Light. Make sure you guys check out his channel, by the way. Coderus, 
We have Chimera, the Flying Mythical Beast, and another, this is a good one, Cards of Consonants, used in the Blue Eyes White Dragon deck, so that'll hold up the value a little bit. Uh, everybody loves a good Blue Eyes deck. Chimera, it's classic reprint, I mean, not first print, not reprint, an absolute power force. Very weird, that was the first printing. Not final pack, we have much more to go in this video, so do not click off, there's more intenseness go going very soon, so. Just enjoy this pack because we are about to continue the mystery box. Um, I can't believe we have already pulled this well. Goes in match, Botanical Girl. Let's just get a Ghost Shirt in it. Come on, come on. Or a third one of these, Goka. A playset, why not? This is a massive opening. Gotta get up All right, another 10 to be, oh. Oh, no, he did it. He did not. He did not send a Stardust Overdrive. He's going crazy. This is a 5Ds opening if I've ever seen one. Two special editions as well. Two special editions. There are two different versions. One's the wrapped up kind, which is interesting. And then one has like the flap. Kind of cool to see that variant there. And then we have how many packs here? Three, six, nine, 11 pack, kind of a random number. Okay, let's just get to it, guys. Let's just get to it. Start us overdrive. I've had I've had good luck with the set before. Let's see if we can continue that. We've had good luck today in general. Let's see if that can keep going right now. I don't know if it can go as well as it went on that last one. It's gonna be hard to top that. Regulus starting it off. Kaz, 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 what have you done? Once again, Kaz, you have come through with an amazing opening. Let's see if we can continue it. Gemini Spark, Gemini Counter, Spiritual Forest. For any Necromancer, we have Lord British Space Fighter and a Tuna Magician. Okay, good stuff. We've already pulled so many foils. The stack is, <laughs> look at the stack of foils. That's ridiculous. It's huge. How do we pull that many foils? I really don't know. Look at the back. They've got a line on them. I don't remember the pack trick, so we're just going to do three to be safe. I feel like it's a weird one. A pointer might be money, uh, a dollar probably. Used to be, oh, oh, here's the big one. The Crusader of Endymion. I remember we pulled this and for some reason, thanks to like Edison, one deck, it just went up to like 60 bucks for the ulti. The ultra is probably not nearly that, but it's a good pull. Uh, that shows that the pack trick is the weird one that we got to do. Crusader of Endymion. I think it's still, you know, decent. So that's actually a pretty good pull. Now I forgot what I was saying because I got distracted by Crusader of Endymion, but that's a very solid card. Ultra rare. We pulled one ultimate right one no two ultimate plague spreader yeah no forget about that one we've got two down we need a ghost we need an ulti we don't even need to cheat and count the secret rare which i feel like that should count because that is a really nice secret i mean that, that value is probably pretty good on that one um but i would rather just complete it straight up and then have that as a little bonus at the end just to say we pulled a secret rare ritual of grace we have reptilian medusa time passage time passage we have enlightenment reptilian spawn spider spider dejin quacky mirror sea panther all right, it's been good so far. Let's go. One, two, three. Can we pull some amazingness? Attack Pheromones, Pointer again. Nice. Ritual Buster. Synchro Barrier, Gemini Booster. Insect Neglect, Rux and Special, Earthbound Wave. Shine Palace. And another Ultra Divine Grace. North Wemco. Very nice. That's a pretty good one. This has a pretty beautiful Ultimate Rare as well. Uh, unfortunately, that's just the Ulti, but still pretty good pull. Our ultra. It is not the Ulti. That's what I was saying. But Ultra is still pretty cool. We've pulled a lot of Ultras today. Ultras are coming very, they're just, they're just, making themselves known let's just say that because they normally are pretty hard to pull you know but they're actually showing up a lot today gorgon we have magician mother spider earthbound wave okay four left then we have the special editions which have promos inside and three packs let's see if we can we're already over 30 minutes on the recording and we are not even close to done but we are making progress and we are pulling amazing stuff from Cillian poison so who cares we'll see i mean you guys gotta let me know like, are you happy that this, you know, an hour long video? Are you excited about that? I know some people see an hour long video like, heck yeah. Some people see it and they're like, no, no, I can't do that. It's too long. So just let me know. We have the Savage Call scene. What's going on back there? Card is spider level eater. It's doing something weird back there. Hopefully that means it's a ghost share. We have a spider egg, just a common. So no, didn't mean anything actually. Let's see if this one means something. Three, little flippity flip right there. Let's see if we can pull something crazy. Energy, bravery, insect neglect, enlightenment. Spider, Scylla, Ritual of Grace, Fortune, Spiritual Forest. Okay. So we have two Ultras so far, which is not terrible. I mean, it's not like really bad. I mean, since they are loose packs, you can't really expect too much more than that, to be honest. Let's see if this last one can turn that around. One, two, three, do a little flippity flip right here. 
into the ghost rare. We have the reptilian Scylla again. That's such a weird looking thing. What is it? It's got mouths on its side. Really? What use is that? Are you going to roll over and bite him or something? Bravery. We have neglect. Stygian. Limit impulse. Fortunately, water. And a fortune's future. So three out of 11. Honestly, not terrible for like loose packs and being old and stuff like that. So turned out okay there. Fortunately, we still have more packs to open up. So let's do it. Open these the painful way. Just kind of rip through these. I know it's going to hurt to watch, but we did it. Charge of the Light Brigade. I forgot that was a <laughs> promo in here. That's pretty strong. All right. Charge of the Light Brigade. Looks like it is a little bent, but overall still looks pretty decent. If you're going to put it in a deck, I don't know. I don't know if that's enough to make it not playable. I think it's probably fine. All right, here are our packs. We have three packs. These should not have any, you know, tampering or anything because they were in a special edition. So it should be unweighed and everything, which is pretty exciting. One, two, three. Can we get a Ghost Rare? We have pulled one of these before. I've pulled one fairly recently, actually. I'd love to pull another one for Kaz. Ray of Greed, Time Passes, Savage Coliseum, Woodland Archer. Uh, Synchro Barrier. Okay, nothing too crazy there. Oh, that one ripped really weird right there. Okay, that, that pack just got decimated. Let's see if we can get an ulti or a ghost. We need one ulti, one ghost to finish the challenge. Come on, I want to finish the challenge. Let's go. I mean, we are under ratio for the ghost, but you got to just believe that it can happen. Ritual Grace for the Divine Grace Northern Wemco. We have Swap Frog, Woodland Archer, Spiritual Force, Bending Destiny, Synchro Barrier, Regulus, Rux and Special. Oh, wait, whoa. Different pack trick, I guess, because... They kind of changed up how it worked during Stardust Overdrive, and it looks like there was a change on that one. So there's a super rare Kwaki Miru Rook Lord. Okay. And we have one more special edition. All right. Bless us with some amazing pulls. Come on, Kaz. Come on, guys. Send him some luck in the comments. If you're still watching at this point, then you are dedicated to this opening. But I mean, why would you stop watching this? This is a fun video. I mean, come on. This has so much old school stuff. We have Tempest Magician. I thought there was a Crossroads of Chaos promo. No, maybe it's, oh, it's a secret in Crossroads of Chaos. That's what it is. That's why it's a promo. Okay, three packs. I think it, because this is a different version of the special edition, it's probably the flippity flip pack trick still. I'm gonna, until I'm proven wrong, look at that pet, that centering. That's gotta be like a ghost rare or something, right? <laughs> they, knowing knowing us with our luck with ghost rares centering, that probably is a ghost rare with that terrible centering. Earthbound Revival. Okay, just a tune magician. Nothing to worry about. Two more packs. You haven't com contributed anything to our goal yet, Stardust Overdrive. I'm just letting you know. You haven't really done much. See if you can do it now. Swap Frog, Spider Egg. You want to get something good for Kaz? Two Magician, Ashlan. He's going to write you off as his least favorite set after this. Energy Bravery. Final pack of Stardust Overdrive. Here we go. This could be the one that we're looking for. One, two, three. Let's see if we can get a Ghost Rare Flippity Flip Pack Trick. Scylla, Forest, Regulus, Wolf, Ritual, Enlightenment, Reptilian, Poison. Oh, okay. A dud of a special edition that time, but it's not over yet. We have more. Okay, I'm not going to lie. This is a heavy one. This has to have a lot in it. Oh, it is packed. Oh, that's Raging Battle. Raging Battle. Then the pink one is... What's the pink one? Galactic Overlord? No, Absolute Power Force. Oh, yeah. Galactic Overlord's also pink, but... Absolute Power... Galactic Overlord Zexel. Not, not 5Ds. What am I thinking? Oh, my gosh. We are... This is a video. This is so much fun, Kaz. All right. We have this, and then we have one more tin, which has more packs. And that is our... I think the end of our, our chance to, to complete the thing. So... We really need an ulti and a ghost here. I've, pulled, I've had great luck with Power Tool. So Power Tool, now's the time for you to show your face in Ghost Rare. It'd be pretty cool if we pulled like, there's Kalu, that's pretty cool. Bind, Trap Stun. If we pulled like the Ghost, Ulti, and uh, Ultra versions of different cover cards, we've already got the Ultra from Black Rose. If we got like an Ulti, you know, Majestic Red Dragon and a Ghost Rare uh, Power Tool or something. I'm wondering if that last one has Duelist Genesis. I think we might have hit like most of the 5D sets right now. If those last two has like two more. Oh, an ultimate rare. Let's go. One for one. And it's a strong wind dragon. It's actually a pretty good card. I think this is actually pretty valuable. Strong wind dragon ulti. That officially gives us three ultimate rares. And you know what that means? One more ghost rare and we've completed the goal. Also one for one. It's a very good card. Oh my gosh. Right off the bat. Raging battle coming in hot. That power tool dragon can end this. I mean, we're going to continue to open packs for him and, and crush the goal, but I'd like to finish it, you know, <laughs> either way. I don't care if it's the last pack or the first pack. Morphtronic binds, trap stun. This is such a good video. 
So much fun. DCDU, that's a great card. That's another hollow. Phoenixian Cluster. This is, isn't this used in an Edison plant deck or something? I think it is. Uh, I think VOP was using that against me uh, a few YCSs ago, but that'll probably have value at anything Edison. Original print is going to be decent usually. Okay, Thorn. Great start to Raging Battle. We've already got an Ultimate Rare, a solid Super Rare. Uh, Morphtronic Vidion. Snowman Eater is a good, that's a good Edison card too. Automatic Laser. I do need to open some Absolute Power Force. There are less of those than Raging Battle though. I can't believe these are loose packs. He got a good seller. You should probably continue to buy from that guy. He still has more packs. We have Gadget Arms. We have the Rose Tentacles, Fake Feather, Morphtronic Repair Unit, Automatic Laser, Mermaid Archer, Phoenixian Seed, One for One, and Double Tool CD. I think now's the time, CD Lamb, to move on to Absolute Power Force and pull something epic. Absolute Power, I don't know your pack trick, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna play it by ear here and see if we pull something. What if we pull it? A ghost shirt, it's like in the middle of this pack right here. Psy Curse, Spider's Lair, Ascending Soul, Great Cuber Stelle. Wait, did we already open Absolute Power Force? Great Cuber Stelle? I guess we did open some Absolute Power Force already. I guess maybe he split them up because there were less of these in the other one. Maybe it was Absolute Power Force. I can't remember now. One, two, three, it, but the Grave Keeper's in there. It has to be. I'm going to do that pack trick. Oil Man, Informer Spider, Forgotten Simple, Grave Keeper, Ruxin Special. That's a Weeping Idol. Spiders, Dark Bug, Sheen King 3000 BC. All right, we're definitely, I don't know if the final run time is gonna be over an hour, but the video like recording raw footage is definitely getting over. We're at 43 minutes right now. Tuner Capture, we still have a lot of packs to open. Miravos, Backwing, Shura, we have Moja. The Striker, that's another hollow. Oh my gosh. Talk about hollow central over here. It is hollow city for sure. Come on. Let's do this. One, two, three. We got to pull something big. We got to pull a ghost rare because we've already got the three ulties. We just need the ghost. Kalut, we have a mirror of those, double tool, Mortronic bind. What if we pull like tree otter, trap stun? If we pull like, let's say if we pull like, let's say we don't get a ghost because it, it is one in 288, so it's pretty tough. If we pull like five ulties and two secrets or like, you know, three secrets and four ulties, something like that, then that might equate to a ghost to let us open the last thing. But... Yeah, it has to be a lot more. It has to be like way more than we have right now. Right now we have four total high rarity. We'd have to get to like seven, I think, to make it fair. Cause like Ghost Rare is probably equivalent to like, he, he basically said one ghost, three ulti. So it's like three ulties equals one ghost is kind of what he said, basically, based on just estimating his equivalence there. But I think that would be pretty fair if we got to six or seven. Six might be a little low. Shredder from Ninja Turtles, Pot of Benevolence, Ritual, Unicycler, we have Oil Man, Ascending Soul, Oh, 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 another ultra, Garlandolf, king of destruction. This ultra rare is one of the coolest looking ultis. Even the ultra looks amazing. Look at this thing. That is beautiful. Ultra rare. I love it. We are looking good right now. One, two, three. But looking good is going to have to require us pulling more stuff, though, if we're going to get that last part. Just need one ghost or we need a few other high rarity cards, I think. Wicked, Mortronic. Giga Stone Omega kind of looks like Gigalith from uh, from Pokemon, but this was a uh, this was before Gigalith. Actually, wait, no, Gigalith might have been black and white, so it was pretty close actually. Wait, black and white was after this, right? Black and white was, ooh man, it might have been actually. I'm not sure. Black. Yeah, this is around the same time. Man, they're they're colluding. They're both coming out with the same stuff. Inverse Universe, Psycurse, Rose Fairy, Pandaborg. We have Chimera, the Flying Mythical Beast, original print. Yeah, we definitely opened this earlier because we got a Chimera. All right, all right. A little bit of a cold streak after. I mean, we did get Garland off, so not bad. We've gotten a lot of Ultras today. The Ultras are what have been absolutely insane how many we've gotten. Wonder Clover. We have, oh, Evil Thorn used to be crazy money. Master Gig. This used to be such a huge value set. You get so many good cards. Automatic Laser. Tore Apart was in there as well. This little tuner guy. We have Evil Thorn, Crimson Fire, Blackwing Shora. Lava Dragon, Urgent Synthesis, we have Meru Doom, we have the Against the Wind, and Alien Doge. Keep it going, Raging Battle. You, you can do this. You just need one big pack to win us this thing. One big pack for Kaz. One big pack. One, two, three. One big pack. We have Fake Feather, Mind Trust, Vidion, Rux and Special, Morphtronic Repair, Natural Tune, Double CD. We have Rose Tentacles, Tore Apart. Oh, I thought that was an ulti. It's the grave of the super ancient organism. I remember this was money for a little bit for some reason. Ultra rare, another ultra. I need to see how many ultras we pulled after this. Ultras are not easy to pull in these packs. And we are getting them nonstop. It's insane. Absolutely insane. We are crushing it right now. 
We just need one ghostly rare. We have a Vanguard of the Dragon, Spine Gilman, Tuner Capture, Quackamere Ice, Urgent Synthesis, so many good cards in here. So many classic cards in here as well. Raging Battle, it's a great set. Had great luck in the past. Can we continue that luck for Kaz with the Sangan artwork on Level Returner? I love it. Tuner Capture, Calming Magic, Trap Stunt. That's just such a good common right there. Let's try one Absolute Power Force just to swap it up, see what we can do. I don't remember if we ever pulled anything out of here, so... Oh, wait, no, I think it is the special one. Let's just do this anyway. Advanced Force, Sword Master. Oh, the Mega Hamster. That's a great card. The Super Nimble Mega Hamster. Another good super. Just, man, they're left and right. Just great cards popping out. Let's go back to back. Absolute Power Force. We know the pack trick for sure now. We just confirmed it right there. One, two, three. All right. We have Consecrated Light. Tricular. Sape, Sape. we have Inverse, we have Psy Curse. I cannot pull these cards. I'm like whiffing three times before I pull it. Dijin, another Garland Halt, King of Destruction. Add it again, that's pretty cool. Pretty freaky cool. Oh wait, I, I went to, uh, I should have gone with Absolute Power Force back to back. Oh well, this will work. All right, Blackwing Shora, Guardian, Blackwing Kalut, Rux and Special, Mortronic Bind, Trap Stun, Iron Core, Crimson Fire, Iron Core, Earthbound Immortal, Kickabakaboo! I love saying these Earthbound Immortal names. They're absolutely insane. They just sound ridiculous, but they're, I mean, they're really cool. Okay, now I've hit two in a row. I'm just gonna keep alternating because that worked this time. We have Garland off, we have Kickabakaboo. Now we need a ghost. I mean, I'll take a ghost out here. It doesn't have to be the power tool. It can be the Majestic Red Dragon. We wouldn't be mad. I don't, have I pulled Majestic Red before? I don't think I have. Gonzari Sape. Pandaborg, Inform Spider, we have Gravekeeper Descendant, and the Dragon Dwelling in the Deep. Another Dragon, another Hollow. We might set a record for Hollows pulled in a video, like non-guaranteed Hollows. Like, we are pulling them non-stop. It's kind of crazy. Besides the Stardust Overdrive, which is just kind of regular ratio, uh, the rest has been crazy. Kalut, we have Natural Tune, Bright Mirror Doom. Attack at the Cornered Rat, tore apart. We didn't get we didn't get a hollow there. Wow, it's amazing. Back to Raging Battle. I think we're gonna continue, actually. We have Junk Box, Level Returner, Wonder Clove, Double Tool, Mortronic Bind, Trap Stun, Miracle Locust, Iron Core, and then Iron Core immediate disposal. Back to back iron cores. That's fine. Here we go. If you guys have enjoyed this long video, use the secret code, the worldwide edition of Kaz. Put that in there. Worldwide edition of Kaz. That'd be perfect. Here we go. Evil Thorn, Crimson Fire. Then you guys can show all the fake fans that you guys are real fans. They won't really know what you're talking about, but that's the point, okay? Delta Crow, Anti-Reverse. The true fans are watching till right now, respecting Kaz for all the packs he sent to us. An absolute ridiculous amount of packs. This has been so much fun. I want to pull a Ghost Rare and, and just, it'll be so cool if we can just be like, yes, we did it. We completed the goal. Miracle Locust, so you gotta be careful. Uh, Vanguard Spine Gilman, that is a Edison card for Diva Hero, which I use in my deck, Ojama Blue, and Supremacy Berry. Okay, is that a new Pokemon Berry or something? I don't know how that works. Come on, guys. We need some luck. Long video. I've been having fun the entire time. Scoping, which is always great. We have uh, Mermaid Archer, Automatic Laser, Lava Dragon, Wicked Rebirth, Blackwing. An ultimate rare power tool dragon. Let's go. Hey, remember what I said earlier? We could get a cover card. We got the cover card, Black Rose, Ultra. We got the ultimate rare power tool. Now we just need a ghost of another card. That would be pretty cool. Ultimate rare power tool Dragon, Kaz. And we've had pretty good ultis out of these four ultis we pulled. That puts us at four ultis, one secret. That's five high rarity cards. I think if we get to seven, we can count it even without the ghost. But I'm thinking we pull the ghost anyway, just to make sure. Maybe I think we can do that. We can pull the ghost real quick. That's an amazing pull. Ultimate Power Tool is one of the best looking ones, in my opinion. I think it looks amazing. Morphtronic, Natural Tune. We pulled first dead and unlimited before, so we're just continuing our luck which I mentioned earlier in the video that we've had great Raging Battle luck or in the past, you know? I think I still have all my power tools that I've pulled. I have like three ultimate rare first ed somehow. Blackwing, uh, we've had just insane luck with it. I'm not, not all those were pulled by me, but I think we pulled at least two of them. Evil Thorn, we have Ojama Red and Kwakimiro Valfar. Just add us more hollows, why not? Just give us more hollows. We are not complaining. We are not complaining at all. Kaz is gonna be very happy. If we can continue, we can do even better. Let's go. We have Hedgeguard, Kalut, Level Returner, Rux and Special. Vanguard of the Dragon. Simo had never heard of that card until I played it against him. Overdoom. Dark Ver Verger, not Vendor. Dark Vendor, watch out. 
and then Supremacy Berry again. All right, let's try another Absolute Power Force. We're running low on these, so we only have a couple more chances out of here to get the Majestic Red, which would be the perfect one, or it could be, who knows, maybe we have some, um, look at the difference in these cards. These were like printed in different factories. Look at this. These five cards are super yellow and these five are super dark. So is this the rare? Okay, I'm just, I'm just gonna open this straight because I'm confused about this one. That's weird. We have Gardner, Gardner, sorry, not Gardner. <laughs> Alien Brain. So those four are the other ones. And then Gildagra. And then Weaving Idol. So there's no hollow in there. So this and the Gildagra are really yellow. And then all these comments are super dark. Well, that one's looks a little bit lighter, but that's kind of weird. If you guys don't know, Absolute Power Force is one of the weirdest sets ever. Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh! has done a lot of openings for them, and like half the time there'll be like four hollows or like nine hollows. Like you can really never know what that set. There's all kinds of weird quality control things. It's just a weird set. I mean, it was like in 2010, kind of like when they had just taken over from Upper Deck, so they had a lot going on, I'm guessing is why, but I really don't know. Uh, Emissary, we have Ojama Country, it used to be a $10 rare, and Mostronic Repair Units. So yeah, that, another weird thing going on. No errors yet though. I mean, that, and that's not really an error. That's probably just two different kinds of card stock, but pretty cool stuff so far in this video. Shura, we definitely have a lot of Shuras. We have Kalutes, we have the entire Simo, uh, Prague One deck, we have Crimson Fire, Ojama Red, and oh, another Phoenixian Cluster. Nice Edison stuff, okay. Edison Plant deck, looking good. I don't think it's a very powerful deck particularly, but it's a very cool card. Come on, another Hollow. We just need a ghost to finish off our goal. Gadget Arm, Supremacy Berry, come on, Alien Dog, Psychic Path, Kalut, Brain Golem, Proof of Powerlessness, let's go. Okay, down about 10 packs left. We still have another 10 and then the bonus potentially to open up. So there is still, I mean, this is not the end of the video to say the least. If we can get the bonus, it's gonna be pretty amazing. Trap Stun, Lava, Regan Power, Crimson Fire, Quacky Mirror Ice, and Master Gig. Let's see what we will get. Wicked Rebirth, Vidion, Guardian. Can we get that ghost? Can we complete our goal? Another ulti would also help our goal. Let's see. Uh, Quack Mirror Doom. Still six more Raging Battle, two more Absolute Power Force. We still have a chance to pull something here. This is not the end either, so there's more chances after this, but anything here will assist us in the future. Kalut, Crimson Fire, come on, Phoenixian Seed. Master Gig, Rux a special, Natural Tune, Black War wins a common in here, Calming Magic. And Quacky Mirror Doom back to back, trying to play a little Doom. Let's not play Doom, let's pull something like a ghost. Here we go. Ghost from Christmas Past right here. We have Crimson Fire, Shura, Guardian, Reckon Power, Vanguard, Spine Gilman, Evil Thorn, one for one. Urgent Synthesis, we've actually calmed down. We haven't pulled a crazy amount of foils recently. Let's swap it over to Absolute Power Force and change that right now by getting a Ghost Rare. Let's see if these cards look any different again. Kind of look like that again. Maybe that's just like, it's just weird. These packs are weird. Grave Keeper, Stella, Advanced Force, Power Supplier, Oil Man, Spider, Reptilian, Naga, Burfamet. First printing, I think. And Grave Keeper's Priest is some Grave Keeper action. Another hollow. We are back on the hollow train. This is the amount of hollows we pulled so far. Just to. <laughs> Foils, whatever you want to call them. I'm calling them hollows a lot today. I don't know why. Not sure why. Just, I guess it's kind of the same thing, but I don't usually call them hollows, but today I just, I've noticed I'm saying hollows a lot. Okay, we have Wicked Rebirth. Let's see if we can get a hollow Ghost Rare. <laughs> Gigastone, that sounds weird. Uh, Gadget Arms, we have Against the Wind and Doable Tool CD, CD Lamb. Four packs, guys. One hour video today? When was our last one hour video? Probably opening every pack last year. Um, that might have been our last one hour video. I don't know. I feel like I've had a long video since then, but usually they end at like 45 minutes, not like they don't usually get to one hour. One hour is pretty long. I can open like a kit, a tape, a case of 10. Just say a taste of, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I was going to do. I was going to swap it up there. Come on, Ghost Rare. Come on. Here's the time. Wicked Rebirth, Vidion, Guardian, Tag of the Cornered Rat, Repair Unit, Automatic Laser, Scoping, Emperor Sim. Ultra rare power tool. Let's go. Can we pull all? We have one more chance. We've got the ultra and the ulti of the power tool. This is this is insane. Wow, that's a good one. I mean, if, if we had pulled that before the ulti, I probably would have gotten even more excited, but we've already pulled the ulti, so I didn't like freak out, but that's still a really amazing pull. I mean, two out of three of the versions is pretty awesome. Rose Fairy, let's see. None of the majestic red yet, so we can do that right here. Tricular, unicycular, Coterus, dark bug, Call of the Reaper, pretty creepy card. Final pack of this, we still have more. Don't worry, this video's not over. I know you guys were worried if it was over. Like, oh man, this video's too short. I needed more. 
I know you were thinking that I'm gonna put the, this. This got to be a weekend video, so you guys got time to watch this thing. Junk. We have Mermaid Archer, Double Tool CD, Trap Stun, Mind Trust, Berserk, and give us the Ghost. No Lava Dragon, but still, Raging Battle was pretty good. Okay, there's doesn't feel like there's as many. I bet there's a special edition in here or something. Ancient Prophecy. Okay, so we didn't get Duelist Genesis this time. Probably saving that for a future video or something. But this means this is all we have left to get the Ghost. We need Ancient Fairy. We pulled it before. Oh no, I'm getting nervous now. We've pulled four ultis and one secret. Only one secret. That's kind of crazy. Secrets are always really tough out of 5Ds. This ancient prophecy right here is going to be the one with the ghost rare or two ultis or something. That'll give us a chance. If it gets to six high rarity cards, it's going to be pretty borderline if we if we count it or not. I mean, that does double it up, so we'll see if that should count. You guys got to let me know in the comments like whether it should be hardcore ghost rare only or if I should be able to count something else. I mean, you'll you'll know what happens at the end, but uh, I just want to know your opinion of what we should have done. Solar recharge, nice. Ancient prophecy, here we go. We need something big here. Let's go. One, two, three. I don't know the pack trick. I'm just going to do this. Advanced draw, come on. Blackwing, Bane, steel chain. Love it. Assistance. I can't pull these cards. Cyborg, I need assistance. Pulling the cards. White Potsen, water hazard. Gap, he stops at the baby gap. And a core blaster 3000. Everybody, get that six pack. Here we go. Next pack. Speaking of six pack, I have six packs here to end this. I have a six pack of Ancient Prophecy. What about you guys? Anybody else got a six pack? All right. Uh, release for Chain Rave. We have Fairy Wind, Spirit Burner, Flame Bell Counter, Arm Sea Hunter, Water Hazard, Core Compression. It's another hollow, but it is not. Okay, we're compress your core, everybody. We got to work on that Ancient Prophecy six pack. Okay. This one, we need the special flippity flop pack trick. Flippity flop in the comments to show me that we need flippity flop pack trick. We have a scary moth. Ooh, scary. We have Imperial. Ragula. Woman. Water hazard. I cannot pull these cards. Slip fortune. Reinforce truth. Ancient leaf. Oh, it's oh, it's coming down to the end, guys. I think this is it. I think this is it. I don't actually know for sure. Cause there's that big one, but there's also one that says. I don't know, we're gonna have to read the note and figure out if we missed anything. There's a couple things unopened right now. I don't know which ones are supposed to be which though. Come on. Last three pack magic. Soul recharge. We've gotten a lot of the light sworn stuff today, actually. More hollows added to the pile. Here we go. Two, three. One, two, three. We have Iron Core Luster, Battle Teleportation, Hydro Pressure Cannon, Imperial Custom, Blackwing Mistral, Fernity Beast. We have Crimson Ape. Magic Hat and Depth Amulet. This is just a common. Okay. We really needed just one pack magic now. We need that ghost rare. We need that ghost rare. Come on. One, two, three. Where are you, ghostly, ghostly Yu Gi Oh card? Cyborg Doctor. Come on. Rux wouldn't be a Ruxin video without a Ruxin special. Anna Genzo, according to Rhyme Style. We have Unicorn. Translation Dark Sea Float. Hydro Pressure Cannon. Quacky Mirror Tornado. Silver wing, getting that Lugia, and our final card is gonna be the ghost shirt, right? Final card out of this pack. Come on, guys. If you guys have enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because there will be more epic content coming up. It's not over in this video yet. More epic content to come. There's gonna be a ghost rare unicorn. Come on, damage translation. Fossil dig. Fortune lady. Oh, those were 0 for 6. I shouldn't have opened those first, or last. We should have opened those first. Start off on a low note. All right, we didn't technically pass the challenge, so I'm gonna open this if we failed. I mean, it was still, it was it was a pretty nice failure. Like we had some good stuff. So let's see what this says about the remaining stuff. I didn't open those other two packages, so I don't really know what's inside. Too bad, the heart of the cards was not with you and it's time for you to go to the Shadow Realm. Just kidding, of course, har har. There's always next time and I hope that you at least enjoyed the opening. Regarding the bonus, please follow these steps. Reveal the contents of the bonus package, make a choice, return the bonus back to me or purchase it. Thanks for pulling until next time. Oh, wow purchase it huh that's interesting i wonder what it could be all right we failed unfortunately but we get to see what we either get to purchase or send back it sounds like it might be expensive if it's i feel like if we had completed it he was gonna like give it to us or something but i don't know we'll see well is it worth purchasing is the question i mean this feels like what is this you know booster box a 10 oh it's a 10 i think oh five d's maybe oh no what is it oh no spoilers five d's 10. Is it gonna be like Black Rose? No, it's not Not Black Rose, that's it's blue. Oh my gosh, it's a Stardust Dragon. Made in Belgium, okay. Stardust Dragon 10. Uh, do the Belgian ones have first impacts? I assume they do. Okay, yeah, these are really expensive, so 
That is why he gave me the option to send it back. That is amazing. Oh my gosh. I got to decide if I want to buy this or not. I do need this for when we open all the 2008 tens at some point, but they're so expensive. I've just put off buying them, but maybe now's the time that Kaz has sent us this. This is a really beautiful tin. Stardust Dragon. I thought it was Black Rose. I forgot about Stardust, of course. How could I forget? So no, no Duelist Genesis, but there was some in the package somewhere. First Ed Duelist Genesis. So could be a ghost rare in this tin. Who knows? All right, Kaz, this has been one of the craziest openings we've done on the channel. I'm glad we pulled pretty well for you. We didn't get a ghost, so we didn't complete the challenge, but it's been pretty fun. And thanks again for doing it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and let Kaz know that you appreciate him in the comments. Go check out his channel down below. This was a fun one. Shout out to Tomefo Show, Daxer, Tomato Juice, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Dien, America Doyster, Supreme Sage 21, CJ, Liu, Gwine 62, Yu-Gi-Oh! Unboxed, and Natai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Bardic, Robert F., Thomas McLean, and Changa Lang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.